I wanted to dispel some of the myths around the energy crisis in the UK using this, the hastily constructed absolute balls ometer. Boris Johnson is back in Ukraine with his favourite nipple height sidekick in the green t-shirt, Zelensky pushing the war propaganda. He says that British people may feel the pain of war with their energy bills, but Ukraines are paying for it with their blood. Absolute balls. We are not suffering energy bills because of the war, manufactured or real. It's got very little to do with it. And in fact, Boris and the government are just hanging on that to try and deflect blame from themselves. Many Ukrainians are not paying for this in blood. In fact, many are actually going back to Ukraine for a little holiday because they're really tested by living with British homeowners who no longer really want them because that whole, you know, doing good thing is actually quite ball achingly awful. Number two, there's an idea that Putin, bad guy, cutting off gas. Putin, monster, cuts off gas. Well, no, because of sanctions put on Putin by EU members and the UK and the US, he asks for payment in rubles. And because we won't pay him in rubles, because Germany won't give him rubles because it breaks those sanctions, he's now saying, well, I can't supply you gas. It's a very simple contractual arrangement. They're not paying him in the manner that he wanted to be paid in. Any suggestion otherwise that Putin is just randomly cutting off gas is, in fact, absolute balls. And what's most absolute balls of all is that £56 million more of our money has just been handed to Zelensky and the people of Ukraine. When did you ever vote for that? Did you vote for your cash to be given away to Ukraine right now at a time when we are about to enter a massive winter of discontent where millions of Brits will not make it through because they simply can't afford to live in their own country? This, my friends, and what you are being fed is a load of absolute balls.